Let me introduce our next speaker, Dr. Tomas Murovka. Professor Murovka is the head of the math department here at MIT. A graduate of MIT, he received his PhD from UC Berkeley in 1988 and later joined the MIT mathematics faculty as a professor in 1996, following faculty appointments at Stanford and at Caltech. Professor Murovka's research in interests use differential geometry and the mathematics of high energy physics to study, among other things, knots. In 2007, he and Peter Kronheimer received the Veblen Prize, the top prize in geometry, for their joint contributions to both three and four dimensional topology through the development of deep analytical techniques and applications. Please welcome Dr. Tomas Mrovka. Well, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm not a great public speaker, so when I become tongue-tied, please uh, forgive me. And um, I'm also getting a little bit older, so I can't see so well. Anyway, um, it's, it's wonderful to, to get a chance to speak to this uh, group of uh, amazing and energetic young women who are interested in mathematics and probably sciences in general. And um, I also want to uh, congratulate well, Ravi Bopana, Arun and Maria and everybody else involved in this uh, in this program. It, it, it's a fantastic thing, and their their efforts are, I think, paying off and wonderful. This is a the seventh iteration of the contest, and uh, as Arun mentioned, the it's been held at MIT for the past five years. That was one of uh, Mike Sipser's, my uh, predecessor, as as head. Uh, sort of innovations for the math department. I'm glad he did it, and I'm extremely to, happy to continue it. Um, so let me just say a, a little bit about mathematics uh, as a, you know, from someone who's in the trenches. Uh, <coughs> mathematics at, at times can seem uh, to some to be abstract and disconnected from reality. But who would have thought that the work of uh, Klein, Lobachevsky, and Riemann on non-Euclidean geometry would eventually lay the foundations of Einstein's work on general relativity and in turn allow us to have cell phones which can use GPS to pinpoint our location on the planet to within a few feet or even better if you have the right clearance, I believe. Um, and uh, as some of the other speakers have mentioned already, mathematics has, has always been crucial for the advancement of society. It, its importance grows daily. Encouraging young people to study mathematics beyond a level of proficiency and at least get a taste of its beauty and depth seems to be a, a very important aim. I think this, this contest is a, a big help in doing that. Uh, given this in, importance, it's then important that all members of our society have an opportunity to excel at mathematics. We are not reaching the best and brightest if there are restrictions on what a mathematician's gender, ethnic background, or socioeconomic background are. Um, although progress is being made, women are still scarce in the mathematical sciences. Nonetheless, uh, there have always been women making contributions at the very highest level. Uh, give you a few examples, uh, is Emmy Noter, uh, who worked in the uh, late uh, 1800s, her work tied together, uh, brought together symmetry and conservation laws in physics, and uh, this has become a fundamental tool taught to every advanced graduate student in physics. Uh, she also developed some of the algebra that was to become uh, part of the foundations of uh, Vi uh, Andrew Weil's solutions of Fermat last theorem. Uh, Kathleen Morawitz and Karen Uhlenbeck both made deep contributions to our understanding of the mathematics that explains fundamental physical processes. Uh, in the case of Morawitz, it was the study of fluids, and in the case of, of Uhlenbeck, it was the study of the physics behind quarks. Um, Uhlenbeck's contributions are particularly important to me since they, they are the foundations of the field that I work in. Uh, both of these women won the National Medal of Science for their work. This is the highest honor bestowed by the United States for work in the sciences. Um, this past summer, uh, the International Mathematical Union awarded 
the Fields Medal to Mariam Mirzakhani. This is the first woman to win the most prestigious award, award of the mathematical community. So I, I hope this contest encourages all the contestants to further their mathematical development, and, and that for some of you it becomes a passion. I hope to see uh, some of you at MIT in the coming years, uh, either as students or later as colleagues. And someday, once again, I hope to see as winners now of the top accolades of your chosen fields of endeavor. So thank you.